Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I'm going to be answering is, what's in the box in regards to this? The Unfair Expansion from Good Games Publishing, an expansion for the theme park building board game Unfair. This is a the Alien B-Movie Dinosaur and Western expansion. And from what I know of Unfair, this is going to be more decks with more potential theme parks. But we're going to crack this open and find out for sure. So this does note choose from four new theme parks to expand your ride building possibilities in the hit modular theme park game Unfair. This plays two to five players, 25 minutes per player, the same as the original game. Enough about that, I'm going to cut the shrink off this, and we're going to look at what's on the box down here on the table. Alrighty, here we have the box for the Unfair Expansion again, Alien B-Movie Dinosaur Westerns. I expect some rules and four decks of cards, but we'll see if there's anything else interesting in this box. Suspense. All right, so we have a rule book, which of course says the following on it. Nice, wow, surprisingly thick. Um, thick, tall rule book, as tall as the box. Uh, we got a couple QR codes showing scoring web app. Nice touch, giving us a scoring web app. There's a card database showing all the cards. If this is your first game, what to do? I like that. Let's just say in highlight. Please trust us on this. Which cards, which decks to use the first time you play? I'm amused by that. Uh, some nice things showing off. Looks like we got some new tokens in this box in addition to cards once we get going. So we're going to flip through this fairly quickly. There are some rule changes, new icons, new game changes, changers, game changers. The aliens have some kind of, it looks like we're going with the um, Ridley Scott's aliens based on those eggs. Uh, looks like the aliens can abduct people. Looks interesting. Then B movie. So there's a, there's a little reference for each of the different decks here and what additional rules they're putting in and what they're going to do. So dinosaurs, same deal. So you actually have like a two to four pages on each of the different ones. There's a quick rule review. That's a nice touch. Um, capacity cards and tokens, and then the golden rules. New card types listed. We're looking at a big. 25 pages. Now, I would say that's thicker than the original rulebook, but the original rulebook was huge, whereas this is small. So you're fitting a lot less text in a, a lot more text in a lot smaller area. So we have, similar to the last game, a whole bunch of tokens already pre-punched. So we'll take a look at those first. We're going to dump these out. Take a look at what you get. I know some of these are going to be alien tokens. So similar to the last game, extremely nice, very thick tokens here. Really impressed by the thickness of these tokens. So we have minus 25 point insurance excess. So we have some kind of punitive tokens. They are two-sided. Uh, it's worth noting they are a different shape than the money in the original game. There are a number of these. I'm not gonna count them, but we got a handful of these. We're gonna throw those back in the bag. We have a bunch of new randomizer tokens which have these symbols for the new types. Uh, Western and whatever. So we have the symbols for the new types on the randomizer tokens. Grab a bunch of those. And we missed another couple of these excess tokens. Uh, we have a 3D dinosaur standy. So I have to assume that Mr. T-Rex can get out at some point because if you're going to have dinosaurs in the theme park, they of course have to get out. So we have a nice little dinosaur standy here. Same thickness as the rest. We also have a hexagonal tile with the dinosaur on it that says, roll for rampage. We have a little QR code. I have no idea. That's loose here. Here, you people here, I'll put it up on the screen and then people can scan it, find out what this is for. One's a proof of purchase. And then we have a, another standee for the aliens. So we have an alien ship who is abducting people with a beam out the bottom of the ship. Again, nice thick token. And we have another hexagon, another step that says abductions. Then the last thing we have is a bunch of counters. Similar to the money in the original game, these are all different shapes and they are alien tokens. So we have an alien token one that shows one egg. Um, describing these shapes is gonna be difficult. It's or, or uh, oval with one bump. Then there is a three with showing three eggs and it's oval with two bumps. And then there is a nine, which is much larger, I don't know, kind of frog shaped thing. And that's it. So there's all your tokens. I'm going to scoop these up. 
Not nearly as many as in the original game. I do appreciate they came pre-cut. All right, then we have upgrade cards number one. So similar to the um, the original game. So this is this is a nice touch. So I recently opened my copy of Unfair, and it included this pack of cards. So what this is is a deck of cards that are replacement cards for the original game. Uh, things that they found were wrong, errata and fixes. Well, if you have the first printing of the original game, picking up this expansion, they give you another set of these cards. Now, I'm not going to crack this open because I already have a set of these, so I'm just going to throw this back in the box. So there's a second set of cards, upgrade cards too. So these are replacement cards, four cards in this expansion. Now, I don't want to get these mixed in, but these will be cards that you replace out. So again, this is the second printing, obviously, of this expansion, but it does include the replacement cards for the original game if you still have the first printing. Thumbs up on that. And then we have exactly what I expected to find in here. Four new decks. We have Dinosaurs. We have Western. We have Aliens. And we have B-Movie. So what I'm going to do for this particular video is I'm just going to open up one of these. Uh, Western's not that interesting. Dinosaur we've seen. I think I'm going to go with the B-Movie pack. So the rest of these I'll leave for people to discover on their own, with their own copy of this expansion. But I will take a quick look through this stack of cards. So we start off with a scoring summary card and reference card. It shows the round summary and the scoring summary. Then we have a number of red backed cards that are park cards. And from those, we have the Crazy Mouse Roller Coaster, the Drive In Theater, a couple drive in theaters, the <laughs> Gelatinous Blob, which is an ice cream shop. I'm amused. We have the Gravitron. There's a ride I actually recognize from my childhood. The Shape Shifting Thing. Two of those themed merch outlet, the Coming Soon billboard. There are a couple different ones with different art. We have a Night Watchman. We have a Popcorn Seller. And of course, this is the B-Movies. We have the Pod Person. Some of the upgrades include binoculars, comfortable seating, double dip elements, the red carpet, air conditioning, lockers and coat check, restrooms, acceptable quality, and the B-movie theme cards, three of those. So those were the park cards. Next, we have two showcase cards. We have the House of Wax and the Mystery Theater. Then event cards. These are all double, uh, so there's a good and a bad. So we have the first in line and the anonymous complaint. Dumpster diving and drunken hooligans. So it looks like these are going to re repeat some of the ones from the original game. Project management, frivolous lawsuit, and so on. We're just going to toss each of these down. Efficiency, safety, certificates, studio tour, and backlot cleaning, and so on. Flavor of the month and endless resharing. Rehashing? Sorry, endless rehashing. Then we have the blueprint cards. Again, I won't be able to put these on the close-up. But these are going to be goals to build certain things and get a set of points if you do them or lose points if you fail to. Then we have city cards. Uh, there we have the financial services, a stock footage deal, film industry incentives, the wooden spoon awards, licensing fees, studio interference, and the great popcorn shortage. We finish off with the gate card, the main gate card. And then the B-Movie card that describes the additional rules for using the B-Movie deck and has a summary of the cards in the deck, the attraction size, the blueprints, the number of coins, and the unfairness of the B-Movie set. So again, that was just one deck out of four that you get with this expansion, the unfair expansion. There is a plastic box insert here with plenty of room for all of these decks. And the counters, though the counters, I'd have to kind of squeeze things in to get them to fit. Now what I am going to do as a bonus, for those of you watching, is I am going to see if these fit in the original game box. Because that would make me happy. So here we have my original unfair game box, which did have some room left in it. Oh, I can't put that there. We're going to get the board out of the way. 
All right, so this side of the box is already full. There is, look at this, room four. One, two, three, four more decks. Look what I got in this box. One, two, three, four more decks. I love it. And then, of course, we have these are the, the replacement cards, which would get mixed in. And then for the counters, we probably have to fit those in the middle here. So it's going to be a little rough fitting in all the counters with all these decks in here. But they do technically fit. Um, I think you probably put the counters in loose or they might fit under the box insert. Or you might be able to put a couple of these decks together and fit in some of the counters. It's going to be a tight fit with the counters. What you could do is keep the counters in the expansion box. But for now, I am going to put everything back into the expansion. We got Western, Dinosaurs, Aliens, and where did I put the last one? I can't remember what the last expansion was. Robots? Nope. Western, what am I missing? B-Movie? The one I opened, that's what I'm missing. B-Movie, because I opened it. That's why I couldn't find it. We're going to put that back in the expansion for now. We're going to put the expansion bits here, those bits here, the upgraded cards here, put everything back together. Yeah, the expansion box is significantly smaller than the base box. The base box is a standard ticket to ride size box. I would think that should probably a little smaller, but it's a it's a pretty like Calax size. And then the expansion box looks like it's probably one third. Uh, it's a little more than one third the size. It's just as tall, but it's not nearly as wide. One third as wide. And getting these counters to fit is, is on, to be honest, painful. Now that I've opened them. Seems kind of strange to not have a good spot to put the counters. Maybe they'd all fit in that middle tray. Alright, so that is everything you get in the box for the Unfair Expansion. Including Aliens, B-Movie, Dinosaur, and Western. New rules, some rule clarifications. Big bonus to Good Games Publishing for including the errata cards in case you don't have the sync and printing of the original game. I love it when they do that. So you pick up the expansion, you get the fix for the original. Big props for that. Though it is sad they had to do it in the first place, but you know what happens. Once games hit the market, people find problems or issues that they get missed in play testing. Totally fair. I like that they did something about it. So that's it. That's what you get in a copy of Unfair, the expansion. So again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the web as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And you can find our webpage at TabletopBellhop.com. For those of you on YouTube, there should be a little eye up in the corner you can click. It'll give you a drop down with a nice quick link. The other thing you'll find a link to there is our Patreon page. If you appreciate this video and you would like to support our continued efforts, please consider tipping the bellhop at Patreon.com slash Tabletop Bellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night and game on.